Do you think that these outfits are good for cabin crew interview and for pictures that you need for your application? If you're in doubt, then you need to watch this video. Today, I will show you how to stand out during your cabin crew interview by showing your professionalism and attention to details, by following the correct dress code and bringing good quality pictures with you. My name is Yulia and I have been working in the aviation industry for over five years. I have successfully passed an interview from my first attempt to three international airlines and I have been on another side of the fence. I was working as a recruiter in the hospitality field. If you need additional help with preparation for the interview, you could book a consultation with me by following the link in the description below. So let's begin. Let's start with shoes. Ladies, you need to wear heels to your interview simply because you would wear heels to work. It doesn't have to be stilettos though. You could opt out for more comfortable option, but nothing flashy. Instead, be close to shoes, black or navy blue in color, keeping in mind that you'd have to wear them throughout the whole day. And don't forget the stockings. Skin color stockings is an absolute must. Moving on to your outfit. It is better to wear a skirt, but make sure that your skirt is covering your knees. Mini skirts are a big no-no during your cabin crew interview. Same rule applies to colors and patterns. And last but not least, pick an outfit that doesn't expose your torso. Instead, find a suitable dress like the one that I'm wearing, or go for a knee-length black skirt and white top or blouse. And don't forget to remove excessive jewelry. Keep only the watch on your wrist. Last step is the jacket with buttons. It should match your skirt color and should have full length sleeves. By the way, this is the exact outfit that I wore for my successful Emirates interview and later the induction day in Dubai. So remember, your skirt and jacket should be black, dark gray or navy blue in color, blouse should be white or in pastel colors, cover your knees with skirt and forearms with jacket or blouse, Wear clothes to heels and don't forget the watch as it is a part of the uniform and it could be very useful during an interview. Now let's talk about hairstyles and makeup. It is best to put your hair up in a bun like so by using color matching accessories like hairnet, bobby and u pins and a hair donut. It is better to keep your hair in a low bun, french twist or simply pin your hair away from your face if your hair does not touch your color. Always aim for a sleek look by removing hair from your face and using styling products if needed. If your ears are pierced, use one pair of stud earrings with crystal or pearl. You have to wear makeup for an interview which is similar to Emirates Kevin Crew standards. The bare minimum would be foundation, powder, blush, eyeshadows, mascara and a red lipstick. Following these tips will significantly increase your chances to pass the interview. Yes, I know, you might tell me that you saw other candidates being dressed like whatever and they reached the final stage. I know, I have seen that myself and I was shocked. But I also saw the candidates being eliminated based on their outfit. So why take chances? Dress to impress from the beginning. Now moving on to pictures. I personally had to redo my pictures for Emirates because I didn't know how to pose and I didn't have any reference. But luckily you have this video, so learn from my mistakes. Here I will show you how to pose for a full length picture in business attire. Most of us have our best side, me included, but this is not the case unfortunately. The examples that you see are wrong. The camera should be at your face level and you need to look straight. Also, don't be creative with your hands. The correct pose is a bit awkward, but simple. Put your feet together or slightly apart. Place your hands below your hip bones or on the side of your hips. Bend your elbows just a little bit and smile. Yes, you have to show your teeth while you're smiling and looking straight. The same rule applies to passport size pictures. You could take the pictures at home against the white wall and edit everything by yourself. But I would really recommend you to let professionals handle it. Budget your photo studio visit and if you follow my tips, you will not have to redo them. 
This is the full body picture that I took for Emirates. And this one I took for Etihad. These two pictures were taken six years apart. And the difference is significant, right? Nevertheless, they both helped me to secure the cabin crew job. Let me know if this video was helpful. You can check out my other cabin crew videos. And I will see you very soon. Bye!